ever since Oric Goldfinger uttered the immortal line, No, Mr Bond, I expect you to die. Laser weapons have captured the imagination. The military has used lasers since they are first introduced in the 1950s, but only now are they reaching their potential as a sci-fi style weapon to obliterate enemy equipment. This week on Latest in Defence, we take a look at how the military uses lasers and check out two exciting new projects that could revolutionise energy weapons. The military commonly uses lasers to mark a target, guide weapons and for missile defence, but using them against enemy troops isn't new. It was recently revealed that the Royal Navy deployed laser weapons as far back as 1982 to dazzle and disorientate Argentinian pilots during the Falklands War, though they were never used in action. These low-power lasers, known as dazzlers, cause no long-term damage and are still used for crowd control and to deter pirate attacks. But until recently, lasers haven't been powerful enough to destroy vehicles, aircraft and vessels. The US Navy's laser weapon systems, known as LAWS, is set to change this. During a demonstration in 2010, the Navy combined a solid-state laser with the Raytheon Phalanx weapon system to shoot down four drones off the testbed ship USS Ponce. In a Navy video, you can see the drones bursting into flame in mid-flight and tumble into the sea. Laws could be deployed on board US Navy ships as soon as next year. Though Navy ships can carry these large, powerful lasers, to use them on land, they have to be light and small enough to fit on, say, a military truck. So the Pentagon has asked defense giants to demonstrate their most powerful and compact lasers for its robust electric laser initiative program or Rely. Boeing recently claimed it exceeded Rely requirements with a demonstration of its thin disk laser system. This concentrates commercial solid state lasers into a single super bright 30 kilowatt beam. This Rely program could see US troops zapping the enemy from an Oshkosh military truck by 2017. No one saw that coming. As we've seen, lasers will be used as powerful weapons on land, sea and air in just a few years. Who knows what these formidable tools will be capable of in decades to come. For more on futuristic weapons, join us next time when Latest in Defence will be reporting from the world's largest defence and security expo, DSCI, in London.